So in this video, let's talk about seronegative spondyloarthropathies. So what seronegative means is, first of all, any condition that includes, you know, your joints such as rheumatoid, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, systemic lupus erythematosus, many connective tissue disorders, Sjogren's and all of these, which cause, you know, arthritis as one of their symptoms, which include the, you know, which involve your joints, these test positive for a factor called rheumatoid factor. So uh, this is usually positive in, in many rheumatic conditions arthritis conditions but then this test could be negative in some conditions such as these these five here it is negative rheumatoid factor is negative this is called seronegative because rf is negative here spondyloarthropathies so uh, this is nothing but inflammatory because you can see all these itis here uh, rheumatic conditions with predominant involvement of axial and uh, peripheral joints, peripheral means your, you know, fingers, metacarpal, carpophalangeals, metatarsophalangeals and axial is nothing but your joints, your, your, your bigger joints like your knee, ankle, all of that and negative RF factor associated with HLA B27. So always remember HLA B27. So 27B is always associated with ser seronegative spondyloarthropathies. So the conditions that are associated, you can remember with the name, with the mnemonic pair B. So it was initially just P, but you can also include a B to involve Behchet's disease. Alright, so pair B. So P for psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, inflammatory associated arthritis, Rater's syndrome, Behchet's disease. So psoriatic arthritis is nothing but psoriasis. That is the skin condition we have where we see all the white scaly patches uh, or plagues with arthritis. Okay, it's a pretty clear thing. Psoriasis, the skin condition, and when that presents with you know your joint pains also, that will be arthritis. This one we'll deal with it later. Inflammatory associated arthritis is nothing but inflammatory bowel diseases. So, what are the two inflammatory bowel diseases we know? Ulcerative colitis and Crohn's, right? So, when these two conditions, when your digestive conditions also present with arthritis or any joint conditions, that will be called inflammatory associated arthritis. And the next is ankylosing spondylitis. So ankylosing, so ankylosing spondylitis, you can just remember it with this term, uh, HLA B27, right? So just think of B as boys and 27 boys who are 27 year old, right? Boys who are 27 year old. So HLA B27. So, uh, so always remember this is seen in males less than 30 years old. So just imagine your parents, uh, you know, a little elderly, they're having back pains, right? And their back pain resolves with rest. It is usually muscular pains which resolve with rest, right? When they rest, it gets better. So in these guys, these B27 guys, back pain is there. That is the main complaining feature. And that does not resolve with rest. In fact, it gets worse with rest. Okay, so any back pain that is getting worse with rest, that is indicative of ankylosing spondylitis so pain improves with physical activity here but not with rest so it gets worse with rest and the back pain is usually seen mostly in the morning morning times which is common with all the rheumatic conditions right and there is tenderness of sacroiliac joint sacroiliac joint is nothing but you know where your sacrum comes and the you know uh, the pelvis this is the pelvis just imagine and the iliac joint and the sacral so where these two join that is called sacroiliac joint. So because there is continuous back pain, his, you know, usually his spine, I mean, his spine is obviously affected, especially his sacral part is affected. So because of all that inflammation, that eventually leads to tenderness at sacroiliac joint. All right. The patient will also have, may also have anterior uveitis, which is nothing but your iris being, you know, affected. And the x-ray will show sacroiliitis because, yeah, like I said, there is inflammation in your sacroiliac joint. Sacroiliac joint is where your pelvis and sacrum come together. So the management for this condition is usually physiotherapy plus pain control. So physio and pain. So physiotherapy decreases the inflammation that is, you know, happening. It decreases the workload that is, uh, you know, putting, uh, is that is being put on on the spine. And pain is just what it is it controls the pain so you can give the patient some physiotherapy and some NSAIDs to re re relieve the pain and if there, there is a lot of inflammation uh, then you give the patient some oral corticosteroid and if the ca if the case is very severe if it is a very severe patient then you give the patient etanercept and adalimumab 
uh, and you know the main complication that is associated with this is bamboo spine so as you can see here there should ideally be some space between these you know these vertebrae the, between the spine here but then everything is getting fused right as you can see here it is getting fused so that is called bamboo spine so the, the fusion of these of the spine with one another you know vertebrae and all that is called bamboo spine so the next thing we're going to talk about is rater's syndrome which is also called reactive arthritis so reactive why it's called reactive is because uh, it reacts after the patient has got some other infection like genitourinary or gastrointestinal you know caused by certain organisms like chlamydia so chlamydia is the most main com ca causative organism here and chlamydia re uh, i mean your, our body reacts to an infection caused by chlamydia by showing this triad like you know there are three different symptoms the, the triad seen here that is conjunctivitis urethritis and arthritis so conjunctivitis you can remember with can't see because there is inflammation in your conjunctiva urethritis with can't be because again there is inflammation with your urethra and can't bend the knee because arthritis there is pain when you're doing it so can't see can't be can't bend the knee is the classic triad associated with rater syndrome or reactive arthritis so like i said it is it occurs two to weeks after two to four weeks after an, another infection usually chlamydia which causes genitourinary or gastrointestinal infections so chlamydia trachomatis and chlamydia pneumoniae uh, so the triad is conjunctivitis urethritis and arthritis so just remember this image can't see can't be can't bend the knee treatment is physiotherapy you know to relax your knee to relax the joints NSAIDs for pain control aspiration of synovial effusions because you know there 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 might be some fluid uh, building up here and oral corticosteroids to overall decrease the inflammation the next one is Bechet's disease which is nothing but ulcers ulcers and ulcers pass so Bechet's uh, will have oral plus genital ulcers oral plus genital ulcers is always mostly always Bechet's disease so here you can see there are oral ulcers here these are genital ulcers and uh, again here we can see oral ulcers again genital ulcers and here uh, this is eye symptoms so the patient usually presents with uveitis also so this is also usually seen in many reactive uh, many rheumatoid arthritic conditions so uh, iris gets inflamed so the treatment for this is topical corticosteroids because these are all ulcers so nothing systemic is happening here so you won't have to give the patient oral drugs so just topical that is ointments corticosteroids ointments should do the needful so that's all about uh seronegative spondyloarthropathies thank you